Hey, what's up, guys? I'm the Dragon, and today we are learning how to make an uh, a brewing, a kind of brewing station thing. Um, semi-automatic. Um, warning: if you just came here for a um to find a good brewing farm, you might want to click off because this isn't gonna be good at all. It's this a lot better ones, but this is my own idea. This is my own premise. Um, this is random. I just joined a random world, and I did this, so don't. So that's why this stuff is here. Don't really mind that. But um. What you should need are, um, you're gonna want some potion materials, I'm just getting all this stuff. Uh, oh, I just took this out, but you're gonna want potion materials, obviously. Uh, let me just get that out. You're gonna want six repeaters, one brewing stand, four hoppers, five droppers. I don't know how many building blocks exactly, but you might want to get a stack or two. Um, two chests, three buttons, um, 23 red, redstone, and two redstone torches. So, um... Yeah, uh, I haven't really practiced, so sorry if this is kind of bad, but, um, yeah. So, first, you're going to place one random chest anywhere with space, and then you want to put a hopper on top of it. Um, actually, you're going to want three chests, wait, no, two. I, I, mess, I almost messed that up. No, you're going to want two chests. I, I, I'm bad at this, sorry, this is my first kind of tutorial thing. Um, but, yeah, so you're going to want to place one of your hoppers. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff now. Um. I was thinking of doing this in survival, but I didn't put my brewing stand down. I'm bad. Sorry, this is my first kind of tutorial thing, so I'm bad at it. But, um, yeah, you want to put your brewing stand down. So, um, yeah. Then you're going to want to place, um, another hopper on the side of your brewing stand. I'm um, getting rid of this. Sorry. I'm and then you're going to want to place your second chest on top. So this that's all your chests. All your chests should be gone by now. And then you're going to want to put a hopper right here. And you're going to want to put another hopper right here. So that's all your hoppers gone. Um, yeah. So then you're going to want to create your hopper lock. So it's not just constantly spewing stuff out. Um, this, sh this is pretty simple. You just want to... Um, I had to copy this. So yeah, you're just gonna wanna put two blocks behind it, and you can, and then th like this. And you're gonna wanna use two of your redstone. So let me get rid of that. And you're gonna wanna use one of your redstone torches right here. Then you're gonna wanna use one of your buttons on the side of that block. So let me get rid of that. So yeah, this is what it should look like so far. And you can see that right there. So we're just gonna get that done um, right now. Um, you're gonna wanna place blocks like this. And you're, if, if you want to copy this exactly, you, you'll do this, and then you place, that's your last redstone torch needed, and then you place all of your redstone like this. This is, you can do this a lot easier, but if you want, if you want to copy this exactly and take more materials, then you can do this. But you can just basically just put two right here. You can, you can shave off, um, one of the redstone right here, if you just put a block right here. And, uh, I'm getting off topic. And as you can see, we're now we're gonna want to create the dispenser system. Um, yeah, so we're you're just gonna. The reason why you want to put two hoppers right here is so um, the redstone isn't ca always caught on by this. So um, yeah, you're gonna want to do just kind of do something like this. Then you're gonna want to put all your dispensers down right here. Okay. Am I doing this right? Did I forget to get rid of stuff? I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep the blocks because, meh. um, so, yeah, and then you're gonna wanna create, actually, you're, you, you can just shave these off, these aren't needed at all, these are just, you can put, and put that if you wanna look, make it look nice, but all you need is this, so, um, let me check how to do it, because I'm bad, um, so, this is where the rest of your redstone comes in, um, the, all your redstone and repeaters, this is where it all comes in, as you can see. So, first, you're going to want to do, well, actually, you could, in theory, just shave off these three blocks, if you wanted to, but, um, whatever. You, you, you just want to put, um, you just want to do this. This is what you want to do. So, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I just have to do that. So, that's seven of your redstone gone. And then you're going to want to put one repeater here. You just want to make this, um, one tick. If, if I'm right. Yes, you want to make that one tick. Then you're going to want to make this two ticks. Um, you're going to want to make this three sticks. Um, not sticks. 
uh, and then you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to do this. This is what I did. Um, so you're gonna want to make a uh, one three tick and another two tick right here. So that's leaves one um, repeater. And then what you're gonna want to do, you can probably save um, redstone on this on this and stuff, but you're gonna want to um, do you're gonna want to put these down, and then you're gonna want to put. So then you're gonna want to put two redstone right here. So that's so yeah. And then you're gonna want to do one, two, three, four, five, six blocks this way. Well, technically seven if you count this one, but you're just gonna want to place six blocks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And yeah, you're gonna want to place a bunch of redstone. So now you should only have two redstone dust left. Uh, actually, well, you're gonna want to kind of first. You're gonna want to shape that off. So you're actually gonna want to have three redstone and then so you should have this by now and then you're gonna want to put two blocks like this and then a block like this and that's all your redstone gone and um then oh i almost forgot you want to put a button right here so that's that leaves one button left which you want to put right here so um yeah that should be the entire premise of the build so this will once you're done brewing uh let me put that in action well, you can't, um, you can make the blaze powder automatic, and, well, yeah, never mind. I was gonna say, you can't, you have to put the blaze powder in automatically. The only potion that this cannot make is strength, because if you just try to dispense the, um, blaze powder, it just goes right here. So, the only potion that I'm pretty sure this cannot make is strength. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this, in this example, we're gonna be making, um, we're gonna be making, um, potion, splash potions of poison. And, uh, yeah. So you're gonna want to do that, then you're gonna put in your spider eye, and you're gonna want to put your gunpowder like this. You're also gonna want to fill this one chest with um, a bunch of water bottles. I almost forgot to tell you guys. You can put how many water bottles you want, but you should you just put you just chuck a bunch in if you have enough. So you don't need you don't need an exact amount. You just want at least three. So um yeah. So what you're gonna want to do is first you're gonna want to, to click this button right here. That lets that pushes all the water balls in here, and you're not gonna want to click this button until later. And then what you're gonna want to do is you should just be able to spam this. Just spam this button a lot. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm bad. And then you just spam this a lot until you see all of your items in here like this. You want your nether ore to be first. Well, if you're making the, this exact potion, you want the nether ore to be here, the spider side to be here, and the gunpowder to be here. And, oh! The one time! you Well, apparently you can't make strength. That's supposed to deposit itself in there. So you can't. So apparently, if you, you can make strength, you just put one base powder in there. And then you can make strength. Because. I tried doing that before with that machine, and it didn't work. Like, I couldn't make strength. I tried to deposit, and it just went in that little socket. So, maybe, I think it's just random. And then, look, and then you make your aqua potion, and then you start making your um, other potion. And then, once um, it's made into po smash potions of poison, we'll just wait a little bit. Uh, sorry. Um, you just want to wait a bit. Um, so yeah, if you want, if you want to somehow, so for some reason, poison yourself, you could just press the button right now. Well, you would, well, in that case, you wouldn't want to put gunpowder in. But also, you, um, you don't want to put them all in the same dropper. You want to put, you want to put, um, nether wart here, because you're going to need nether wart for basically every potion. Your spider's eye in here. This is just another example. Spider's eye in this one, gunpowder in this one. This one. So now you have your potions, and you're going to want to just put, click this button and they all go into this chest and then you just repeat the cycle with any with any potions so um yeah that's my kind of that's my kind of bad tutorial on how to make a um, semi-automatic po potion farm um yeah i hope you all enjoyed this little tutorial and uh yeah i'll see you all in the next one bye